What's up guys? Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about how to take your SketchUp models and export them to Unreal Engine. So this is a video I've wanted to make for a long time and I'm finally getting into it. Today's video is brought to you by my rendering channel, The Rendering Essentials. So um, I'm planning on doing more tutorials in Unreal Engine and as I move forward, um, I'm probably going to put some of those on that channel. So I just want you to make sure that you go over and you subscribe to um, my rendering channel as well. That's going to be youtube.com slash the rendering essentials now let's go ahead and just jump into it so this is a tutorial that I've been requested a lot and I was kind of waiting for some of the new data smith stuff to come out so basically what data smith is is it's basically a function that allows you to export your sketchup models with textures um, mapped properly to Unreal Engine. And so that's something that's just kind of come out in the last release. There was supposed to be a big video on it last week from SketchUp, and uh, there were some technical difficulties, and so that got pushed off a little bit. I thought I would just walk you through the general steps of getting Unreal Engine installed and also exporting your first model. So um, I will get more in depth on this as we go, but for right now, all I want to do is I want to show you how to create an Unreal Engine file that has a SketchUp model that you've exported out of SketchUp. So to start off, you just want to go to uh, www.unrealengine.com. So what that's going to do is that's going to take you to their homepage. And what you want to do is you want to go up and you want to click the download button. And you're probably going to have to create a username and a password in order to do this. And then um, once you do this, what this is going to pop up is it's going to pop up two different options. It's going to pop up an option for game developers. It's going to pop up an option for enterprise. And so they the enterprise option is going to give you the option to download Unreal Studio. And so um, that's kind of what we want in this case because we're doing more architectural visualization. I think you can do most of this stuff with the game developer option as well. It's just a licensing thing. So make sure you check out the licensing and figure out if you're doing um, what you need to for your use. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the Enterprise tab. You're going to click the button for Proceed to Studio Download. And so what this is going to have is this is going to have a tutorial series in here, video, but what you want to do first is you want to click on this button to download Unreal Studio. And this should download a file that you can run in order to install this on your computer. So download that file and run it. And then what that should do is that should install the Epic Games Launcher. And so I apologize, I'm going a little bit off memory here. Um, so probably what will happen is this will download whatever the newest version is that isn't a preview version. So most likely when you download this, it's going to download some Something like um, if you did this right now version 4.19.2 um, I'm not really sure so when you get in here there's a bunch of other videos on setting up Unreal Studio on YouTube but I think this should all be fairly self-explanatory now um, my understanding is when you do this Unreal Studio will also download the Datasmith plugin so the Datasmith plugin is a plugin for Unreal Engine that's going to allow you to import different kinds of files. And so this is actually set up to download multiple different kinds of files. But in this case, um, you want to make sure you have that Unreal Datasmith installed. And so I will link to the help page on uh, Unreal Engine's documentation that kind of walks you through all of this as well. It talks about your different versions. Um, it talks about making sure that Datasmith is installed properly. So if you have any problems, you can go to this page. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assume that you guys have gotten everything installed properly. And one thing that's going to be very important is the first version that can actually import the SketchUp files is going to be version 4.2. 20. You want to download version 4.20 point whatever the newest version is with that. And do note that these are kind of preview versions, meaning they're they're being released to the public, but it's while Unreal Engine is still kind of working with them. But it is important that you have version 4.20 because it's the first one that actually allows you to import the SketchUp files. And so now we're going to go out of Unreal Engine for a second and we're going to download the exporter file for SketchUp. So this is a separate file that you're going to download and you're going to install that's going to show up within SketchUp. 
And so in order to do that, you can go to this URL right here, the unrealengine.com. In this case, mine is the English-US, and then it's going to be slash studio slash downloads. And so when you get to this downloads page, if you scroll down, there's an option for the Unreal Studio 4.20 Preview SketchUp Exporter. So you're going to want to download that file and install it. And what that's going to do is that's going to install the exporter for SketchUp, which allows you to export your files to Unreal Engine. So download that file and run it. And then we're going to go and we're going to pull up a SketchUp model. So in this case, I'm going to go into SketchUp and I'm just going to use my apartment file from my layout. I know I've been using this file a bunch lately, but it's kind of ready-made. It's got some it's got some textures in here and everything else. And so now what we're going to do is get to the file that you want to export and you're going to do a file export 3D model. And then if you've installed the exporter right, there's going to be an option in your drop down for save as type Unreal Datasmith. And so pick a location where you want to export your file and go ahead and name it whatever you want and then go ahead and click export. And so when you click export, what this is going to do is it's going to export a bunch of different stuff. So it'll take a little while to do this. And so once that's completed, what you're going to do is you're going to import that into a Unreal Engine project. And so when we go back over to our Epic Games launcher, um, the way I do this is going to have to be a little different. I have to kind of download everything remotely because my internet is so slow at home. So in my case, I'm going to open up Unreal Engine kind of separately. In your case, in your case, if you can download and install this directly, you're just going to click the little drop down and you're just going to select your Unreal Engine preview to launch. And so basically you just want to get in there and you want to launch Unreal Engine and make sure you're launching a version 4.20 or higher higher. And so that's going to take a little while to initialize. And then basically what you can do is you can come in here and you can create a new project. So in this case, I'm going to create a new project. And for right now, I'm just going to pick an Unreal Studio file. So that's going to come in with nothing else in it. There are some cool blueprint files in here that actually come with first person controllers, um, VR controllers, that sort of thing. We don't want to worry about that right now. We just want to click the tab for Unreal Studio and you want to click the option for blank. And then down below, what you want to do is you want to select the location where you want this file to be saved. So in this case, I'm saving in my Unreal Projects file and just we'll call it a Datasmith import test file. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create the project. So basically what we've done is we've just created an Unreal Engine project and you can see how this is going to kind of load up. It's going to load the engine, that sort of thing. And so when you bring this in, it's going to look a lot like this. And you'll notice if you click and drag with your left mouse button, you can turn left and right and move forward and back. Um, if you click and hold your right mouse button and then click and move everything around, um, you can kind of look around. And so that's kind of your general navigation stuff that we want within Unreal Studio. Um, but what we want to do in this case is if you have Datasmith installed, you should have this option up here for import Unreal Datasmith file. And so we're just going to click on that and what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to import our Datasmiths file that we exported from SketchUp. And so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the Datasmiths file that I exported. So in this case, this is going to be this file right here. So just navigate to wherever you save that and you can just double click on that file. And it's going to ask you where you want to import that content. Um, in this case, I'm fine with just importing it into this folder. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And so it's going to pop up a couple different options. It's going to ask if you want to process your geometry, materials and textures, lights and cameras. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave all of those checked. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the button for import. And what that's going to do is that's going to import my Datasmith file. So that's reading that file and importing it. And you can see how when I first bring this up, I'm kind of in a weird spot. My camera just kind of gets dropped in a weird spot. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag my right mouse button to look around. And so you can see how when I do that and I look down, you can see how 
my apartment file from SketchUp has been brought in. One of the cool things about this is it's actually kept all of the textures from my file applied to my models. So you can see how I was able to bring these in with these textures applied. And you'll notice we're getting some lighting needs to be rebuilt errors and that kind of thing. Don't worry about those too much for right now. Um, for right now, we just wanted to get this in so that we could start kind of flying around. And you'll notice a couple cool things is it also brought in my SketchUp camera views. So like for example, if I click on this camera, I get a little preview of what that camera view is going to look like. And so you can see how using Datasmith, you can actually bring in your SketchUp files with all of the textures already applied. So I'm very excited about what we can do with this. But for now, you've got your file in and you can kind of start playing around with this. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did you like this? Are you excited about Unreal Engine? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.